guys, it's Quentin. Uh, I thought I'd do a real short video on uh, how to route wires to a, to this kind of switch panel. When, uh, if you, I mean, my Jeep didn't come with switches like this. I mean, you just had those standard black things, and I kind of drilled them out, and that's why I have a piece of tape here. Anyway, after you get this panel out by unplugging this plug from, well, if you have a switch there, mine has the setup for it, but no switch. And then, of course, your cigarette lighter plug right here. If you're ever wondering how to route wires to this, Instead of trying to go down through this hole and make it real hard, if you go up, which I know it's dark to see, but if you go up through here and around the AC vent and just try to touch your hands right through here, you'll be able to go right around. You can feel the AC vent right here where I'm grabbing, and all you got to do is put your hands around it, and look, you'll see the wires budging. So it's real simple and easy if you ever want to route wires to this switch panel. Uh, getting off this, if you wonder about getting off this entire panel, um, I do warn you that when you're trying to pull this panel, which is that panel up there, off, you do have two screws right there you need to take out. As you see, my panel was already broke. I didn't do this. Already broke, so I was able to pull mine straight out. I've had no problems with mine being broke like that, so if you really don't want to take apart your whole dash and risk breaking those, uh, I mean, it's at your discretion, but it, it does not really affect this panel at all, at least for me. So, hope that helps you guys out if you're routing wires up there. Take it easy.